In this video, we're going to be showing you how to set up an EasyLog USB data logger. First off, we'll start by connecting the data logger into the USB port and loading up the Windows control software provided with the data logger. So to start the setup, we click Set up and Start the USB data logger and we're presented with a number of options. First off, we can give each data logger a unique name. This will help us to keep track of a number of different late data loggers that we might have. Next we can choose between degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit and also how often we want the data logger to take a reading. You note that with each of these options in brackets it shows how long it will take for the data logger to fill up with data. So click Next. Here we've got some options on the LCD. Uh, we can either have it off, on for 30 seconds after a button press or on at all times. We can also choose whether we want the data logger to stop when it's full or whether we want it to roll over and keep taking readings. So click on Next and that takes us through to the alarm screen. So we're going to set um, alarms here for temperature. So if I click on this tech, tick box here, that will allow me to set the high temperature alarm. So using this scroll down button here, I can actually choose the value that I want. You'll note to the right hand side here there's a there's a little tick box saying hold that will actually continue to show an alarm condition even after it's been cleared. So I'll do the same for the low alarm, put the check box in and then set the low alarms and then I'm going to put hold on both of those. You can set the same for humidity as well um, but I'm going to leave these for the time being. Finally we can set how we want the data logger to start. You can either start with an immediate start so as soon as we click next it will begin taking readings. Um, a delayed start where we can actually put a set time and date that we want it to begin and then the final option is for a push button start um, which is what I'm going to choose here. So we tick that radio button, click next and the data logger is, is complete. So there's a little summary here, um, click OK and we're all done. So we can take the data logger out of the USB port and pop it into our location ready for taking data.